Japan had no raw materials of her own, so she wanted to create a Southeast Asian empire to provide them. In order to do this, Japan had to destroy the threat of the U.S. Pacific Fleet based at Pearl Harbor. Six aircraft carriers, like the Akagi shown here, were employed for this purpose in December 1941. The Japanese used these three types of bombs in the attack. Wooden fins were attached to aerial torpedoes to prevent them from plunging too deep in the shallow water. This torpedo was found at Pearl Harbor in 1991. Japanese aerial torpedoes could blow a 40-foot wide hole in a battleship. The USS Arizona was one of the eight similar Pearl Harbor battleships that were the main target of the Japanese. The Arizona was painted in a dark gray Measure 1 camouflage with light gray control tops. The red paint on the turret tops indicated that the Arizona was in Battleship Division 1. The Arizona was armed with 12 14-inch guns. By using decoding machines, the U.S. knew the Japanese were going to attack, but we did not know when or where. You got it. 41 miles, 335 degrees. George, plot this. The target 137 miles to the north, 5 degrees east. 137 miles, 5 degrees. Incoming Japanese aircraft were also detected on American radar, but it was too late. and swam to Ford Island, soaked with oil, their bodies burned, shocked. After about two hours, the Japanese left. Eight out of eight battleships at Pearl Harbor were either sunk or damaged. 2,400 American servicemen died about half of whom were on the Arizona. The battered Arizona is a tomb for many of these men today. This is part of a bulkhead from the destroyed Arizona. This is what the Arizona looked like one week after the attack. The collapsed foremast is located here. The still intact mainmast is located here. Some of these same features can still be seen on the remains of the Arizona today. The barbette, or base of turret 3, can still be seen, as well as the aftmost leg of the mainmast tripod. A flagpole has now been attached to what is left of that leg. White marker boys show the position of the Arizona's stern and bow. Thank you. 
1,177 men died on the Arizona. Parts of turret number two are located here. These are mooring bits just showing above the water. Here one can still see the foundation of one of the casemate guns. The barbette for turret number three is the largest part of the Arizona still above the water level today. This is a view of the inside of barbette number three as it looked in early 1942. Note the rollers upon which the turret rotated. Thousands of people visit the Arizona Memorial every year to pay their respects.